Okay, so I'm doing the morning chores today. So, got the day off and I need to check on all my animals. Got the medicine that the goats need. And then the puppies need to get fed. I'll show you my chickens. My little chicken coop. Try to get them some water. So, it's just so cold. Sometimes those don't come apart very well, the watering um, thing. So, we gotta get water for them almost every day. I have around 22 chickens. They're all really beautiful. As you can see, they got lots of color variety and they all lay brown eggs. I know, I'll come play with ya. Um, the next thing I gotta do is put some medicine on the goat's nose. I got a couple of girls who have kind of a scabby nose and they get mites every year just here at our property. So I gotta catch them and avoid Ragnar, the big black goat, who's, I don't know if he's trying to play with me or show his dominance, but I gotta kind of show him that I rule the pen, not him, but I might lose, who knows. So. Here we go, and I, hopefully the puppies will help me. Uh, they probably won't. As you can see, they're just rambunctious. So, okay, here we go. I gotta get the medicine, so. Okay, I think I need my husband to help me. I don't know why Ragnar thinks he can push me around a little bit. So, 
I don't think I really won that one and I wasn't gonna dare hang out with him any longer. And it looks like he wants to play because his tail is wagging and he's excited. Um, but I don't feel like playing with a big old Kiko goat. So, um, but everybody else was looking like they were having fun. The, so some of the goats, I just want to show you. Um, this is Miss Jazzy Mae, and she's going to be due with babies any, well, not any time. I'd say probably a couple more weeks. This is our sire, which is Ragnar. And then right behind him, um, we haven't named him yet, but this will be our other sire that we're going to keep around on our property. Yeah, see, Ragnar wants to play his tails wagging and so on, but, and then Sam is the other one right there uh, on the I rock. I have a couple of chickens that I've been raising separate from the other chickens. And they're my little, they're all different, all three of them. And I have them in this chicken coop, which is like the cutest chicken coop ever. Mark built it a while back. You can see all the, the little fluffy chickens, they're so cute. I let the puppies out, but the whole purpose of having them stay in the pen is to learn how to be with the goats. And you can see they're a big protector, especially if they thought that maybe I was in trouble. They stood right by me and tried to scare Ragnar away, but Ragnar isn't scared. So, but I'm gonna have probably my boys and my husband come and help me get the remainder of the the goats medicated today but I their noses are getting much better and I only have two that are needing the medication so but they're just hard to catch even in this small pen but we'll try like grain and try doing other um, things to get them caught so and red she just like kind of ran away she's like I don't want to be a part of your guys's mayhem so she stayed back I want the dogs to learn how to be nice to the chickens. We had Daisy attack one last week. I was like, you are so mean. And we were able to find it because I just was like, I just looked outside. I don't know, I had a hunch and I looked outside and all of a sudden she has this chicken that's just, she's just carrying around. So me and Everest got our boots on. We were out there and we grabbed it and the chicken was still alive. Um, but we knew like it was gonna die, so it wasn't gonna do well. Uh, we ended up eating it. It was delicious, made stew out of it. I love my like chickens. I like to eat them as well. And so when accidents like that happen, we just don't like throw the chicken away. We actually eat them and we like it, like we like having our own food. So, you know, as a mom you go, I didn't really have dinner plans, but now I do. So, but I want the dogs to be nice to my chickens. Brownie's really nice to my chickens and we taught her. It took some, it took some time to teach her, but we were able to teach her and she does really well with them. And I think these dogs have the capability as well. So they're awfully naughty right now. They're still uh, puppies. They go out there every day and we teach them how to sit. They listen to Mark better because I don't know, maybe he just has that alpha male kind of personality. I'm I'm just over here like, oh, you're so cute. Will you sit down for me? Anyway, it doesn't always work that way. I'm the nicer mom, I guess, the dog mom. Uh, but uh, we have two pastures for these goats. So we lost a bunch of goats. I think you know about it uh, from our predator video to a, this predator was pretty majestic. Um, when you see the trail cams, it's kind of like eerie and scary and you go, oh my gosh, but we lost 12 goats in eight days. And some were just killed to be killed and some were dragged off in the woods. So my babies mostly I lost. And I had a lot of 100 percenters and purebreds. So we lost quite a bit of money too. It was just really eerie that something like that could just come in and have a little like goat buffet. And we kept, we've kept, kept our goats now for three or four years up there. And we did a one pasture 
and the first pasture was, it worked out really good. Um, but then our, we just put in our second pasture just this last year. And the second pasture um, is about four to four and a half acres. So it's really out there in the, the other half of the 44. And so the goats had so much to go with, right? So when we got this uh, goat pen put up here in our backyard, <laughs> um, we just have a few goats and we're probably gonna start our herd like more serious uh, this following year when we get out of this house. Should probably talk a little bit about my chicken flock and the varieties that I have. Cute. Oh, geez, how do I flip the camera? There you go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Got one. Okay, so this one, I incubated this chicken. I have some Brahmas and I had some uh, roosters for a while. I had four roosters. And this one came out. Look how pretty. She is got the dark gray feathers, the black head, the black beak, her black legs. I love this color of chicken. Anything that's gray is just so cute. I love gray dogs, I love gray cats. I think just, it, it might be my favorite color of animal. But anyways, she is so cute. This is one of my favorite breeds. I, what I do with my chickens is I, incubate them. I make them into chickens right before they start to lay. I actually sell them. I find more more value. Um, look, what are the dogs barking at? More value to that than I do if, if I was to like um, just sell like the eggs or I'm like trying to find a good lighting so you can see my chickens better. So but my chicken coop is currently all closed down. So um, we have raccoons and skunks out here. So we have it all shut down. So all the chickens come in here. I got a heat lamp in case they get cold or they just, cause just cause we get cold weather as well. But anyway, she is really great. She's not for sale. So um, let me get you some other chickens. You can take a look, okay? Okay, okay. this is the other breed that I'm really excited about. Oh my goodness. And look at her. This is called Rhode Island Red. I love, love how beautiful their feathers are and how red they are. She is, she's only about six months old. So she's not for sale, but I've been selling other ones. I would like to make more of her. So I'd like to have more of these kind of chickens when they're really hardy, brown eggs, super pretty, like just beautiful, beautiful chicken. So, okay. She's a beaut. I want to have more of these kind of chickens. The black and white, they almost look like, like a... What? I just want to show you off. So I have three of these actually, and they're out doing their thing, but, and I'm selling two of them, but I'm going to keep one. Um, they're really hardy as well in the cold weather. They're really attractive. I think they're so cute with the black and white. And they're a good chicken. They do a good job. So we have, oh, okay, okay, okay. I have other varieties, but they're outside. Um, once they come in, maybe I'll show them to you. But they are, can you sell my silkies? Um, oh, are you gonna come in? Go on, you can come in. Get, get in there. Um, the other ones that I have are um, probably my favorite breed that I'm gonna probably keep around for a minute, but they're called uh, Sapphire Gem. And they're really gray with 
pretty much a blackhead. They almost look like the one that I just held, but they're a little bit more um, intense that way. And then I have my silkies and you got to see them. So, okay, back at it. I'm gonna see if this compost will make this goat happy. Gosh, he's so crazy. guys think yeah they're not whining gosh so much I have to say I'm not a natural farmer it didn't just come to me one day and I'm like oh bam I'm gonna be a farmer it's uh it takes time and it takes a lot of patience and I have to learn a lot still just uh these animals depend on me and I want to make sure I do a good job with them but there you go. I think we got it for the most part. I just have a couple more goats I need to medicate. So when I get that going, I'll probably have Everest and Mark help me because I, I don't know, I get a little intimidated by Ragnar. And again, it's I'm not a natural farmer, but I just do it. So anyway, so if you, if you feel insecure on having animals, maybe just do it with your family. So at least you have all three of you in there helping each other out. But it's been fun. 